Welcome everybody, welcome back to another installment of Manny Talk Shooting. Not really, uh, it's about time, it's long overdue, let's get it done. It, this is the thousand round review for my D2 custom gun, Manny's Master Blaster. So stick along with me, we're going to talk about the reasons why and everything about it. Um, so if you'll enjoy this episode, I, I think you will, but uh, let's dive into it. First off, the big question you're probably asking me is, Manny, what made you decide to go with D2 custom guns, right? So um, the real main reason is being peer pressured by my buddy Patches Reader. Um, Patches is a phenomenal shooter um, on and off the range, um, very talented and a very good person just to be around. Well, um, I've seen him shoot for a number of years with these guns and they've just ran nonstop to the top, best performance, and Patches shows it in his skill. Um, the gun kind of matters at that point because when, you don't have to worry about ammunition ammunition issues, magazines, or um, the firearm itself, uh, you can perform to the best of your ability. So, um, anyways, I, was t I had to look back in my phone and see, oh look, um, back in April, I, I told Patches, I was thinking super, super hard, I want, told him, I was super sure that I wanted to have Dan build me a gun. Um, and this is before I even had Dan on the podcast. I knew that going into that episode when I recorded with Mr. Heights and writer Dan, Lieutenant Dan, that... I kind of wanted a new gun because and I thought I originally wanted a gun to match my first gun a full dust cover gun and I, after the whole conversation getting no, to know Dan more um and talking then afterwards how the episode went talking to Dan about building a gun he's like hold your horses <laughs> first you need to actually shoot um a midi my midi that packed his runs so I was like okay no big deal um, when's the next time I'm going to see him um, I forgot to do it at Buckeye Blast when I first saw him but then I went to Kentucky a couple weeks later and I got to shoot um, Patches' gun, um, Black Betty. Black, uh, I think it's Black Betty. It's a beautiful black and gold gun. Um, it's a really nice gun. It's his major match gun. It's phenomenal. And the sign on my face that Dan saw and the giggles that came from shooting that gun, the pure enjoyment of shooting that gun, made me want a D2 custom gun. So, and then after that, I talked to him um, a little bit about what I wanted in the build and whatnot. And then eventually uh, Dan and I, Formed a partnership, you know, Manny Talk Shooting, D2 Custom Guns, the banner behind me, the hat I'm wearing, you know, getting them to sponsor the podcast. Um, so I can't say I'm 100% unbiased, I mean, because Dan's a friend now um, and uh, is supporting the channel and myself in shooting matches. So um, he's really supporting my shooting ability um, by giving me a top-notch firearm and uh, shredding with it, let's say that. So... I'm very excited about that. So one of the major things that stands out about Dan's gun is they just function, they run, they're reliable, and he's a true machinist, right? You know, there's a lot of guys who can be gun builders in this industry, but they're not actually machinists and know how to actually get all the measurements and the tolerances that they need to worry about. But Dan's that full package. He shoots, he knows what he wants as a shooter, he knows what he wants as a machinist and how to get it. So that's the cool thing about that. So that's another reason to put a check mark in the yes column for D2 Customs. So I guess the next thing I want to show you is the parts. All right, so we're going to start from the top, work our way to the bottom. So obviously on top of here um, is a, a Trigicon SRO, one of the gold standards of red dots in the competition scene. Um, this is actually a 2.5 MOA. I was actually coming down from an 8 MOA Seymour, and I'm really liking the 2.5. It's not too bright. Uh, it's not, it doesn't, when it's not too bright, it's not too big. Um, it's just right. I did put a Stonebridge Gunworks target focus trainer on here or sun shield as you want to call them um, just for you know dry fire training and making sure I'm staying target focused um, in practice and and dry fire um, underneath that that's holding that onto the gun is a chili frame mount for the dot and a range panda rpg2 um, hammerhead thumb rest um, which I really like that Dan puts torx head screws on here so if I have to actually take this off and heat it up I'm not destroying the screws because they're not allen keys which is a big plus um, a brazo sig racker a staple in the open gun community um for rackers um it's that or an ape hanger or whatever so always a good and i like that it's kind of two-tone on the gun the guns as you can see all um, charcoal pvd um diamond like coated uh well sorry diamond like alloy um charcoal um phenomenal right so that stands out if it ever fell out it's never fallen out so for the gold trigger uh brazo slide obviously um a d2 custom guns um, comp, yeah, wow, Alex, let me talk. Uh, the compensator is made by Dan. He machines it himself on his CNC mill. And um, inside the slide is a wonderful KKM uh, barrel um, with two massive, chunky popple holes. It might be fancy, and I'll probably get some really good B-roll of this, so uh, 
excuse me on that. So underneath that is obviously a Sheely Custom Gunworks um, white labeled frame that's marked with the D2 Custom Gun serial number and he even engraved it on um, Manny's Master Blaster on there for me after the name I came up with for the gun. Because this gun, guys, is going to get me to master. So um, I can already feel it. My skill level is already getting closer and closer into A class and above. So um, this gun's going to do phenomenal. Obviously, we've got a nice, beautiful E2 aggressive, chi, extra aggressive Chi lead steel grip with the Dawson mag button inside there and a red dirt trigger in gold because let's flex, right? So we got the gold trigger and an extra large, big hands Chi Lee Magwell, uh, a phenomenal thing. So there's my gun. Um, every D2 custom gun, open gun, is going to come with one big stick, right? So you always need one big stick. This one just happens to be already laser engraved by my buddy Brian Wolf at Make Stuff Better. Um, super easy to find which mag it is, which base pad, and whose it is on the range. So um, go check them out to Make Stuff Better. Um, I can't also forget um, a lot of other good things. Uh, so yeah, go check them out. MBX, I love these mags. I was using S, um, SV tube before this. I really like these um, MBX mags. So I've had not had an issue yet and um, they're breaking in ever so much. So, but they, your gun, your D2 custom gun, open gun, custom MIDI is gonna come with one of these mags, which I think is awesome. So you're getting at least one magazine with your uh, purchase of a firearm. Let's talk a little bit about the form and the function of the gun, right? So when I say form, the gun fits my hands really well. Um, and it fun so <laughs> it just functions, right? So I have not had a gun related malfunction with it. Um, I had one ammunition related malfunction that was totally on me. Um, I, uh, some bad brass got into the my practice ammo. It, obviously it was practice ammo, so um, it's not the gun's fault for being really good tight tolerances, but it's mine for letting uh, something that shouldn't have passed case gauge into this gun. But the function of this gun is fabulous. The, the sound that you hear, Dan um, prides himself on the sound of his guns. He can tell that it's his gun on the range by listening to you rack the gun. Uh, he always talks about patches and how patches will rack it a million times. Um, and just this sewing machine like sound that he quotes and he pat I wouldn't say he patents it, but he says it a lot. The sewing machine sound, I can hear it too. And I love the sound of the gun uh, and you can just feel it and see it. And that's a remarkable thing about this blaster. And uh, it's a really good feature. So as, as during this video, guys, if you can't tell, this is sitting on an RPG2 pistol stand. It's got the D2 Custom Guns logo on it or D2 Custom logo, the Manny Talk shooting logo in blue. This is a V2 stand, so the magwell never actually touches the, the stand, so it kind of hovers. Made by my friends Eric Steiner and Johnny Giordano. Shootability, right? So obviously it's got a great Chili grip on this gun, oh, so it's got a point like any Chili grip, kind of like that Shadow 2 uh, grip angle on it. Um, and the Range Panda RPG2 hammerhead um, thumb rest for me just makes it super easy to shoot. The gun, as I say, and I tell everybody, the gun shoots itself. Dan um, should be very proud. These guns shoot themselves. You just have to hold on to them. <laughs> it's essentially, is, it's gonna return to zero. I hate the, I hate that phrase that Atlas uses, but it truly does. Or it tunes to where you shot, you know, it shot from, as long as you're holding the gun right. So performance, right? Um, not everything is quantifiable with metrics. Beforehand, uh, yes, I was always in contention of winning on my local matches in open. Sometimes getting very close to high overall, but I will say this gun is we've had three local matches with it and a couple of practice sessions. So, guess what? This gun is 3 0 um, on the leaderboard. Manny's Master Blaster is 3 0, winning open division all three times, and even it brought itself a overall match win on my birthday, on my 30th birthday. You'll hear about that episode. Go watch that episode of Manny Talk Shooting. These are on YouTube or the podcast platform. It's great. Talk about me, the gun. It was a great birthday, so I couldn't think of anything better. This gun just shoots, right? Laser beam accurate. Um, just grip the gun. That's all I got to do. And as Patches says, shoot my sights. Shoot the dot. Because if you're not shooting the dot, um, you're going to have misses and mics and bad hits. So shoot the dot, grip the gun. As I've kind of already mentioned, um, it's super reliable. The gun just runs, right? The issue is more me or bad, like if bad ammo doesn't get into the gun, it's gonna run, right? So that was my my happenstance. Once in a practice ammo, not had issues in a match. So the gun just shoots, it's super reliable. All right, so pros, right? When you order a D2 custom gun, custom MIDI, when you open that MIDI open gun, you're getting a machinist to build your gun. 
you're getting a guy who's a one-man shop who's going to take your details and what you want in a gun, your color, your, your color scheme, if you want special thumb rests, um, the dot you want, the mag button, the magwell size. He's going to take into into account, and he's going to get you those parts for your build. So you're working with a one-man shop, which is a plus. You don't have to go through ordering online and not being happy with it. Dan's going to take care of you no matter what, and that's the really cool thing. So there's another check mark. Con, he gets it done too quick. <laughs> no, you know, as, as depending on when you're in the queue, you're looking at 12 to 16 weeks possibly on a gun, which is phenomenal when you think about it because some builders can't even get them out in a year. Um, now, as we talked, is Dan going to do all the super hand sanding like some of the other builders? No, not really. He's going to make sure it's a beautiful functioning gun, but he's not going to put all those extra man hours in it because you really don't want to pay for those extra man hours anyway. So it's still it's a phenomenal shooting gun, a phenomenal looking gun, and it's just performance. It's pure performance, and it runs. I've not seen any issues with patches or my gun other than self-induced from um, idiocracy on my part. So um, as... As I, I can't say any good, more good things about this gun, um, and I will say, okay, so this is an honest thing. The price. The price of the gun. You're paying for a custom gun, right? In a fast timeline, custom gun, you're paying $6,900. Is that a lot of money for people? Yeah. Is it less than Infinity? Absolutely. So I see, don't see any problem here, right? So you're getting a custom gun for custom gun prices because you're paying for a true artist and machinist to build your gun. You're not having someone put your gun together haphazardly and not know exactly what their gun Dan does. He takes his measurements. It takes him probably so long on the first day to get your measurements to make sure it's absolutely right when it comes to fit, tight tolerances. Um, but you'd rather wait. It takes that extra little minute for him to do it, but it's so worth it, right? It's guns, right? So mine, power factor, um, when I shoot my load out of it, it's 175 power factor, which is awesome. It's right where I kind of want it to be. Not close to 165, but not much higher. It's not like in the 180s. It's, you know, it's that one mid-70. And the gun just, the comp, popple holes, um, the gun returns very well at that. Um, and I think Outdoor Dynamics for developing that load with me um, and, you know, making my life easy on loading ammo. I mean, I can't thank John enough for all the support he's given to me and the channel um, and the podcast. So I, I thank John as well. That's why I'm wearing my Outdoor Dynamics loading shirt because... I always wear it when I decide to go load ammo, and John's been super helpful. So uh, make sure you go check out also Outdoor Dynamics. Use the code Manny for 5% off your order of ammo. It's pretty much going to save you free shipping on your order. Which, who doesn't like free shipping, really? So it saves you a little bit of money. Let's John know that I sent you and go on with your day on that. But um, the recipe I shoot through this gun is phenomenal. Um, it's a very, um, if I can shoot a lot of it, which is nice, even though, and I'm making major by a good, have, um, good margin. So... I think the last thing I'm left with is, would I get another? The answer to that question is twofold. Would I get another? Yes. Do I want to live? Yes. If I went out and got another one, my wife would probably kill me because it'd be my second one and she doesn't have a first one. So that's kind of the problem too. But uh, yes, I'd absolutely get a second open gun from Dan at E2 Custom. Phenomenal guy. Um, he's a good friend of mine now. We talk oh, pretty much every other day. So... Uh, it's kind of hard to not like a guy. Um, he's just too nice. He's way too nice. Um, you know, uh, can't say anything more good things about Dan without just gushing all over this phone camera. So I hope you kind of enjoyed the video on the Manny's Master Blaster. Throughout the video, there's going to probably be B-roll of me shooting the gun because who wants to hear and watch me stand here in front of this table and talk the whole time. So you'll listen to me talk. Do next videos there's there too. Um, the beautiful sounds, beautiful pictures of the gun. So I don't think there's anything left to say except thank you to Dan for building me a fantabulous gun. Um, I'm very excited and proud to spot, uh, be partnered with you and show everyone our skills. Um, I, I've got a goal, and this goal, this gun is going to get me to that goal. My goal is to be the best open shooter in Michigan or from Michigan. So so watch out. So when I hit the Nationals field, I'm going to be that top shooter from Michigan. So I'm working on gaining my skills up higher on the leaderboards that's my goal so thank you dan thank you all for everyone watching tonight and enjoying this video of manny's master plaster review um get out and do the things i'll see you on the next one